Well, Bill and David are back again. This time we're doing Stunt Car Challenge. And the goal is to systematically let the car accelerate up a ramp and use the vertical and horizontal components of its initial velocity to measure the end point of its jump, which to me sounds like a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. So the procedure says set your launch angles assigned by your teacher and seeing as we're our own teacher, we're going to do all three launch angles. We're not going to do just one. And so we're going to check and see what the actual angle of this first one is. Now I'm going to put the, uh, the zero on the horizontal axis right at the point. And the zero over here. And that looks like about uh, 20 degrees. Perfect. So 20 degrees. So that's 20 degrees, and that's the medium sized one. So why don't we grab the small one now? Okay. We'll check out what the small one is. The small one looks like that is, let me get clear to the end. I would say that's 10 degrees, Bill. Okay, so that's 10 degrees in small one, 20 degrees on the medium sized one, and. And the, the big one is, I'd say that's 30 degrees. 30, so 10, 20, and 30. 10, 20, 30. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these in, this contraption that's sitting here, and we're going to start with the medium-sized one. You see how that fit in there? So we got a nice angle, and that launch angle is now set at 20 degrees. We have a nice cart track that goes back. We have a car that if you pull it back, it clicks, and then it goes forward. Perfect. And then sitting up here on top, we have what's called a photo gate. And that basically has like a, a light sensor that goes through there. And you can see the red light going off when my finger goes through. That knows there's something in between there. Now, we also have what's called a LabQuest 2. And it's going to collect our data. And we'll show you that data as we go. So we're going to shoot this part through there three or five times for each angle. And then you guys will enter that data onto your data sheet. Okay, so we're set up with our apparatus. We put the 10 degree wedge in there. And we're going to have our photo gate. We're going to start our collection device on our photo gate. All right, we are collecting. Okay, trial one, 10 degree, trial one. Okay, not bad for a start. No, trial two. Trial three. Trial three. Number four coming up. And trial five. Okay, so let's take a look at our data. Let's see what we got. Okay, so what we're looking at is the the time all the way on the left. And we're going to subtract the blocked and unblocked, right? Right. So you're just basically doing like it says in the lab, subtracting so you can get the time that the car was in the line of the photo gate. Correct. All right, so we switch the angle to 20 degrees. We're going to do it five trials with this one. We are collecting data. Ready to go. Engines are started. Trial two. Number three. Trial three. Go. And last trial. 
for 20 degrees. Okay. So let's look at our data again. And for trial two, run two, there's the data for the first. And there's the data down below. All right, so we're ready for our 30 degree angle. It's the highest one. We'll go ahead and start the data collection. We are collecting data. Okay, I'm good down here. Are you ready, good? Ready to go. Okay. File one. Two. Oh, they're really jumping now. Trial three. Trial four. Trial five. All right, let's check our data out. So we'll run three, which happens to also be our 30 degree. Okay, so that should give you all the data you need to do all the calculations in the lab. Good luck to you guys.